Y'all want to know what it's like to have a logical conversation with a liberal-minded modern female? And if you laugh, you deserve to go straight to hell. I was... I'm... I'm born... With... I'm... Cerebral... I'm... I'm... Palsy. A severe... Sad... Daughter. Would you rather make 40 grand a year working a regular job or 400 grand a year doing OnlyFans? Yeah, I would rather go back to OnlyFans than do that. Natalie, yes. what are you picking? 400. Okay. I will pick the 400. Obviously 400K. 400K all the okay. way. Okay. If right. you're not taking it, you're dumb. We live in a timeline where the modern woman would rather compromise her self-respect for a $400,000 check. She could care less about the future regrets, even if that means a rope around her child's neck. Worst women in human history. Sodom and Gomorrah ain't got shit on these 304s. The moral fiber is so thin it can floss a ant's butthole. And I figured out why they like this. Most modern women hit every spectrum on that dark triad pyramid, especially narcissism, the same trait they accuse all they exes of. And when they get with you, they try to convince you that everyone else is crazy and that those red flags that you trying to ignore ain't gonna come back to bite you in the ass. Fellas, you got a new chick? Let's play a game of she lying. If your girl ever told you that she wants you to be completely honest, she lying. If your girl ever told you, I promise, she lying. If your girl blames her ex for all the fault and why she left, she lying. If your girl says, I love you, but she's quick to show disrespect, she lying. If your girl had a past and tell you that you the best she ever had, she lying. If you suspicious of her ass and she laugh after every question you ask, she lying. We have statistical and analytical proof that a large majority of modern women have the 304 mentality. From the way that they date to the way that they dress, from how they mate to who they select, from what they say to what they confess, 400k for lifelong regrets? Fellas, if she gets on a podcast and admits that she's a freak, she belongs to the streets. She'd rather be on public display than protect her peace? She belongs to the streets. If she'd rather work on her knees than work in the Mickey D's? She belongs to the streets. You will not be wrong. Sending her back to where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. How long have you been with your man? Six months. How does he feel about you coming out dressed like, you know, how you are? So it feels like a little bit of a pointed question, but he trusts me and I trust him, so... Did you guys ever have a conversation beforehand? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What did you guys discuss? It was more of like a, I'm going to do this, but I trust your input, so I'm going to let you know, but... In the end of the day, it's like we are our, our own people, so I'm going to do what I think is best for myself and for our relationship. People will sexualize you for what you look like when you have a certain body type, no matter what you wear. So you might as well own it, you might as well be confident about yourself, but it doesn't necessarily convey that you're on the market or that you're looking for a guy. It's just you having fun with your girls. So. Notice how she said that they don't mean that she's still on the market, but I guarantee that everybody watching was looking at the same spot the entire time that she was talking. Jesus would know if you lying. Based on how she's dressed, do you think that she's single or in a relationship? Oh, single, for sure. We live in a society where false accusations fly more than 304s on their way to meet the Prince of Dubai. In this next story, we have an athlete named Trevor Bauer and some throat go goblin named Adeline. I mean, Lindsay Hill. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another in reference to visiting my house for the first time. The answer, take his money. So how might that work? I'm going to his house Wednesday, she said. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll. Then after the first time we met, net worth is 51 mil, she said. Bitch, you better secure the bag, was the response. Uh, but, but how was she going to do that? Need daddy to choke me out, she said. Being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million, read another text. Her AA sponsor asked her at one point, do you feel a tiny bit guilty? Not really, she replied. This video, which was taken by Lindsay Hill herself, the morning after she claimed she was brutally attacked, emotionally traumatized, and desperate to get away from me. 
Uh, and now we have the metadata, so there can be no dispute. Uh, it was taken mere minutes before she left my house on the morning of May 16th, 2021, without my knowledge or consent, of course. Uh, in it, you can see her lying in bed next to me while I'm sleeping, smirking at the camera without a care in the world or any marks on her face. Uh, after hearing the evidence available to her, Judge Diana Gold Saltman found that Lindsay Hill had misled the court. She found her claims to be materially misleading. Uh, she denied her request for a domestic violence restraining order, and she found that no sexual assault or non-consensual conduct took place. You free, bro. You free. free you free. Done. So happy to see you. His accusers, Sharon and Karen Sanders, decided to stand down. He went in guilty. He's guilty now, and guess what? He will die guilty. Oh, yeah, I'm right. happy. Yeah. I got 44 years. Right. Are you mad at anyone? No, I'm not mad. So you're not mad at the women? No, I'm not mad at them. I mean that. When I told them I forgive them, that's what I mean. Forgiveness. Now, I don't believe that these women should face criminal charges. Nope, that's too easy. What I believe is for every year that this man was to serve a sentence should be one minute under the belt for real victims of this crap to come and whoop that ass like slave masters over donkeys. Since everything is going woke, these kid stories need a gender swap to the girl that cried wolf. How's that for representation? And speaking of woke kids books. Hello, Navarro. Suck any good lately what's wrong navarro i think you like a big in your mouth ha 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 page 23 the other boy here it is what's the educational benefit of talking about the what's the educational benefit of talking about that is that going to help someone on the sat score hear me kind get a shot of that she can care less that's a sign. She needs to put down her sign. Every second. Oh, you're putting me out. For what? For asking you to, ab to abide by the rules. A board member held up a sign, but the audience couldn't hold up signs. This is tyranny, and we're dealing with a corrupt government system. You see all them women on that school board? That's who's responsible for turning your kids into these overweight effinists you see at these college campuses. What gender do you think you are? Well, I, I'm a male. Okay, well, I think maybe I think you're a woman. No, legally, I'm a male. It says on my driver's license that I'm a male. What if I say I don't believe you? It doesn't matter. What Please. gender do you think I am? I would assume you're female. See, you're making assumptions. Yes. I identify as non-binary. Respectfully, it doesn't matter. It does matter. And what pronouns what, should I use? You should use they, them pronouns. And what if I don't? Me. What if I don't? If you don't, I would consider that disrespectful, and that's actually an act of violence to intentionally misgender someone. Here we come to the issue. Um, you just said that's an act of violence. That means yes. it's an actionable offense. That means it's a crime. We have no idea how many pronouns there are. We can never know how many pronouns there are. And to not use a proper pronoun you could ask. is an act of violence against them. Did you ask my pronouns before you sat down? No, I didn't ask your pronouns. You just talked about me being privileged. You understand? No one goes around asking pronouns before they speak with people. And you wonder why so many me and age 18 to 30 of virgins. Barely anything is safe to dip the pogo stick in. It's like trying to excavate during a war. You can't dig in peace. You get a modern woman pregnant, your child has to avoid being aborted, maybe getting taken away from you. They gotta survive middle school and high school because mama's ass was online for $15.99. Your little man can't go to preschool without dodging recruitment from the Rainbow Squad. Your little princess can't go to high school without being stalked by Jezebel. And your son's prom date is probably so fat she falls trying to climb some damn stairs. And if you get caught out laughing you going straight to hell so apparently there's a male loneliness epidemic right now and i don't want to diminish that that sounds really tough but what i don't understand is why some men tell me this as if like i'm supposed to do something about it but maybe if you spent less time telling women there's a male loneliness epidemic in an accusatory tone and more time asking your boys how their heart is doing, this could all be over.
Sally. I made a video, a stitch, in response to someone saying that there's a male loneliness epidemic happening right now. My suggestion was to smile more because I hear that that's helpful. And was that a cheap shot? It was. I'll own that. Could I have been the bigger person in that moment? Yes, absolutely. But if God wanted me to be the bigger person, she would have made me taller. You're a victim. Mm. More examples of these dark personality traits women have is the total lack of empathy. We are surrounded by modern women that take pleasure in the male self-deletion rates. They also take pleasure in the male loneliness epidemic and the fact that a lot of young men are not going to be afforded the same economic opportunities due to their gender. Instead of just knowing this and remaining indifferent, they get their ass on social media and rub it in like a sadistic masseuse that lied about the happy ending. This is a space for women in tech. This is one of those few limited resources that isn't for you, it's for us. Some of the male attendees reportedly lied about being non-binary just to get in. Several tech workers defended the men for trying to capitalize on job opportunities not meant for them, seeing that the entire concept was wrong. Let's be honest, there is no need for a conference just for women because if it was the opposite for men, then it would be sexist. Just because you are a woman doesn't give you the right to talk to a big firm recruiter. Guys work just as hard and they don't get that chance. And last and definitely least is the worst of the worst, Generation Z. These modern women would rather date each other than a dude. They all smoke weed, they all got tattoos. They masculine and rude and make the mistake of giving their parents some attitude. What is the problem? No. My problem oh. is that you didn't get off your lazy ass and charge Oh, uh, here she comes. She coming too now. She waking up. Hey, hey pumpkin. Yeah, you got a little stupid and you forgot uh, I'm old school. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I had to take care of some business. Get up, girl. Let's go have a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi and we'll talk about it. But you ain't going to try that no more, okay? Okay? All right. Get up. Gen Z is doomed. We need to escape the states before Gen Z's kids become the new adults. Because fake is the new real. Forget facts. It's how you feel. Men can be women. Impregnating bitches in prison. They don't use the phone to chat. They DM on Insta or send a snap. Getting ghosted is easier than a white Trump supporter getting labeled a racist. And marriages last about as long as teenagers braces. Face it. Get your passport. This generation is a failure. They don't respect they self, they future, the countries, the kids, or the elders. And if I did what this chick did, I'd have to dodge the belt of the switch. And if you laugh, you ain't shit. Just like the daughter in this clip. Alright. My coop cheese hairy off of Kenny Body. My coop cheese hairy off of Kenny Body. Mike would choose Harry Alpha of Kenny Body. I don't get it. What am I saying? And think what? about it. Mike would choose Harry. Mike would choose Harry Alpha Kenny Body. Mike would choose Harry Alpha Kenny Body. What is it? What am I saying? I know I'm saying something, but I can't think it out. Mike who? Mike who cheese Harry? <laughs> Do you get it? Wait a minute. Mike, Mike, Mike who cheese Harry Alpha Kenny Body. <laughs> But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be, be sure, sure to, to like, like the, the damn, damn video. video. Be sure to click here to see why Latinas are the black man's kryptonite in America. If you missing my shorts, be sure to hit me up on my Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. And if you're trying to do some business with me, then be sure to hit me up on my email at NGE never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, but come the change you want to see, it's your boy, NGE. Peace.